Hey guys, what's up? My name is Dora and welcome to my channel. I have a very special project for you today. Bath bomb ornaments. They're beautiful and they make great gifts. Please read the description for important information, the recipe, and the supply list. Now make another batch and add SLSA. This makes the foam less vigorous and more lathery. At this point, you should have two batches, an exterior mix with SLSA and an interior mix. Add color to the interior mix for colorful foam. Now measure out wet ingredients for each. For the last 4 milliliters of liquid, you can add water or liquid colorant. Add wet ingredients while whisking. Mix and knead the batches well with your hands. You can definitely use a regular round mold. I'm using a disco ball mold and a diamond mold. Add exterior mix and hollow it out like a shell. Then fill it with interior mix. Pack it flat and sprinkle loose mix on top. Repeat for the other side. Smush the two sides together tightly. You can also do quick short turns to grind the molds closer together. Tap both sides to release the bomb. This tiny table is super helpful, especially when um, flipping the bath bombs over like that. I'm going to link it in the description. Now twist tiny hooks in the top. The hook requires a bit of pressure at first, but then it screws in deeper with each turn. Once the hook is in, drop a bit of alcohol on top. The alcohol makes the mix around the screw hard, essentially locking it in place. Add interest with varying colors like this. Mix mica and alcohol together to make two colors. Then mix them together to make the third color. Paint the bath bomb with a coat of alcohol, even if you don't add mica, as it creates a protective layer that makes it almost impervious to premature reactions caused by glitter glue, which we'll get into after this. Add extra sparkle with eco-friendly glitter. And don't worry, it's pretty much permanent. The glitter will not come off. If you're using super chunky glitter like this, 
I recommend a simple pattern. If using finer glitter or mica, then you can cover the entire ornament. To make glitter glue, use a liquid surfactant. I find that ammonium laurel sulfate works best. Mix 5 milliliters of surfactant with 1 milliliter of alcohol. For the white glitter, I mix different sizes of mother of pearl, cotton candy, and snowflakes. All will be linked in the description. This method is simple and quick. Add glue, then pour glitter over it. Remember, only use eco-friendly glitter or mica. For super chunky glitter, add glue to a small area, then add glitter. A pick tool is essential for this method. Add mica to the glue to make it visible. I can't lie, this is very tedious, meticulous, and time-consuming work. You're probably thinking, this girl is crazy. You're not wrong, but trust me, this way looks best. It does not look good if you just pour super chunky glitter on the glue. Last, add a ribbon to hang the ornament. The bath bomb is almost too pretty to use, especially considering how much time went into each one, but I had to show you guys what it looked like. It was beautiful in the water. Um, I do regret not making more interior colors. I think it would have looked really cool with green and turquoise foam gushing out, but it's still beautiful nonetheless. By the way, the hook stayed in the entire time. Okay guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Speaking of next time, I think I may do potpourri. I make it every year around this time and I think I might make a quick tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments below.